Today we are going to be learning how to make Chinese dragons to celebrate the Chinese New Year. And this is going to create a 3D form. The first step is you're going to choose three strands of two colors. So you're going to end up with six total strands. So I'm going to pick, let's see, one, two, three green strands and three magenta strands. Step two, you're going to glue one of the strands of each color to form an L shape. So I'm going to take a green one and a magenta one. I want both different colors. And I'm going to lay them out to form an L shape. And then I need to glue them together. So I'm going to take my glue stick, put some glue just on the end, and hold to make sure it sticks. So basic, niche, nisui, niwin, nanin. Step three, you're going to alternate folding the colors. So I usually hold my paper strands to the table and start folding. So I'm going to alternate colors, so switch colors. So I'm going to choose green first and fold it over the magenta. Then I'm going to alternate and pick magenta and fold the magenta over. Now sometimes it creates a corner shape instead of the L shape. Um, now it's like a backward L and I'm going to continue switching. So when I see that green is on top, that means I know that magenta should be next and then I fold magenta over. And I'm basically creating a square right here, keeping a square here every time and holding it to the table. Fold my green, fold my magenta. And I'm going to keep going all the while holding it to the table. For step four, I've run out of, you know, the paper. This is a lot shorter. I can't fold it very many more times. So then I need to take my extra strands that I have over here. I have four left. I need to glue them on to extend the paper strand. So I want to extend the magenta. So I'm going to put some glue on the magenta and glue on the strand. And I'm going to push and kind of hold it. Bejik, Nij, Niswe, Niwa, Nanan. And I'm going to do the same thing for the green one. Add glue to the end. And I'm holding this down the whole time so it doesn't kind of go away. Uh, take the green strand, glue that one on. Bejik, Nij, Niswe, Niwa, Nanan. And then for step five, I'm going to continue to fold it and glue on the extra strands until they're all gone. So I have two more left after this to get all six strands folded. So I'm going to continue to fold. When you get to pretty much the end of your sixth strand, they're all in there, all six. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I like to add a little glue so that my strands don't all fall apart. So at the very end, I glue the last one down. And then I have a nice flap here to, for the next step of adding the head on. But at this point, after you glue the top, you can open it up and see that you've made either a snake or dragon body and should alternate the color each time and make a nice three-dimensional kind of spiral shape. Step six, you're going to glue on the head. 
So I've made a head by cutting out uh, on a paper towel roll and painting it. Cut triangles out to make a mouth. And remember I have this uh, extra flap here for adding glue to glue the head onto the body. So I'm gonna take my glue and put my glue on that flap, take it, and I'm gonna kinda sneak it in here and hold. I'm probably gonna hold it for a little longer than five seconds because I really want this part to not fall off. And I'm just gluing it to the top of the dragon head. You could glue it to the bottom as well, doesn't matter. And now I have a head attached to my body. For the next step, if you want to add some dragon legs on, like I had here, I take a couple more strands of color. I kind of like to keep with the colors that I'm using, but if you want to try a new color, that's fine. So I take a new strand and I cut it in half. If you want longer legs, you can. Um, and then I zigzag fold the legs. Um, so this is just one strand, one color that you are folding. So this is where, we've done this before, you fold it over, then you flip it over. Fold, flip. You have to flip it each time. Go nice and slow. Fold, flip it over, fold, flip it over. If this is if you're having trouble with this part, you don't have to have folded legs. You could have the legs just be a straight kind of leg that hangs down too. But fold, here we go. So now I have a nice zigzag leg. I like to add little dragon claws in. So what I do is I just cut two triangles out. One and two to create a little dragon foot. Then I'm gonna add glue on the end because I wanna glue it to my body. And you can decide where on your dragon body you would like the leg to be, but I kind of just go a little, the first one a little bit down. And what you wanna do is you wanna kind of sneak the leg in there in one of these kind of triangle-ish shapes. I sneak the leg in there and then I just kind of pinch it together so that the glue can really stick in there. And then I have one of my legs done. I usually do four legs for a dragon. So I have one there, one there, cut this in half, and I'm gonna do the same thing to make four legs. At this point, you have a pretty nice dragon. It has four legs, it has a head, um, it has a little bit of a tail. So for if you're ready for a challenge, you can start inventing and adding on extra details that you invent. So maybe you wanna try to add wings to your dragon, a tongue, eyes. Maybe you want to add some parts for your tail. I added just kind of some long cut I cut up some of the strands for a long tail. Um, here I added in a tongue and some eyes. Uh, so you can really get creative with this. Um, sometimes you have some extra little triangles hanging around where you cut before. So maybe you wanna kinda glue those on for eyes. I like to recycle the little pieces that I end up cutting off. So I already have little triangles I could use for the eyes. Uh, to make a tongue, I cut a little piece of a red strand off. I cut one triangle at the bottom to kind of make that snake-like tongue. Uh, if you want to be really fancy, you can kind of cut, trim a little bit of this off, but not necessary. And then I usually kind of roll it around my finger so that it's kind of more like a like a tongue coming out. Um, and then what you can do is take the glue, similar to when you attach the body to the head, 
put that glue on there and then stick the tongue under there and again I hold this for maybe more like 10 seconds so it really glues on and then I have a tongue for my dragon maybe I want to add nostrils um, I've seen with this little extra tongue pieces I've seen little horns added that are fun so maybe I'll kind of roll this up and glue on kind of a little horns. Let's see. Roll it up. Add some glue. Add on a little horn like that. Maybe you want to hide it under there. So at this point you're just adding anything extra to make your dragon unique and different from everyone else's. Put one more in little horn on there. You can kind of fold it however. There. And now you have a 3D dragon shape that can kind of float around in the air just like the Chinese New Year.